Hey guys, it's Tommy here at Raw Blend. It's so great to finally be back in the uh, kitchen demonstration here at Raw Blend. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but back in May we actually had a, uh, a big double semi-trailer truck uh, come crashing through here. Um, so if I was standing here back in May, um, I might not actually be here today. Um, so we're all really happy that no one was injured. Um, we've rebuilt and it's great to be back here. So I look forward to bringing you many more recipes to come. Uh, today I'm going to make for you a delicious new recipe. Uh, this is a tropical basil blast. It's a smoothie recipe, a green smoothie. Um, just made this the other week, absolutely loved it, so I thought I'd share it with you. I'm using the Vitamix Pro 750 model. Um, I'm going to put in some coconut. I love uh, coconuts, especially uh, fresh young coconuts, alright? So, uh, this is, you can get into them lots of different ways, there's all different sorts of tools. I like to just use a knife, I find it the, the most simple way for me. So I've got a good serrated knife here, and it takes a little bit of work, but I can usually get through it pretty quick. Chop that off, get a little bit of water still out of it, but I'm not too bothered about that. And there we go, just rip the top off, all right? So it's pretty simple. I'm gonna pour that liquid in, beautiful uh, fresh coconut water. And then, I like to actually scoop out the flesh here as well. All right, so I've got one of these raw blend spatulas. Um, come in real handy uh, for all sorts of different tasks, um, but this is probably what I use it for the most. Getting my coconut out of here, so I'll just scoop that out. So simple. And I'll just pull that straight out, and in it goes, like so, beautiful. I usually scoop out this little bit here. I'll give that to my dog, <laughs> he loves that. Uh, but not today, I'll put that in here as well. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna put in some melon. Now melon is one of the most nutritious fruits in the world. Um, it's so nutritious actually because of these seeds. Okay, we don't wanna waste those. These are multivitamin supplements that you buy in your supermarket. That's what they make them out of. They're you know, high in vitamins and amino acids. Now when you think about it, we, we eat uh, cucumber seeds, tomato seeds, one of the melon seeds, very, very good for us. We're gonna put that in. This is a little bit bitter, I'm not gonna put that in. It's entirely up to you. I'm gonna put in some grapes, all right? So nice sweet fruit. Throw those in. I'm also gonna put in a banana. Uh, we peel the banana, of course. Doesn't taste too good, that peel. Now, chimpanzees actually invented the green smoothie, okay? What I'm making here today. In the wild, chimpanzees will pick up a banana, they'll wrap it in a banana leaf, and they'll eat it. All right, they call that a gorilla burger. <laughs> now they do that because they know these greens are good for them. Uh, they don't like the bitter taste, so they sweeten it up with the fruit to make it taste better. So that's where the green smoothie was born from, okay? So chimpanzees, 99.7% uh, DNA match to humans, uh, but yet they have no diabetes or heart disease, obesity. This is what they live on. Greens, fruit, and nuts, all right? Compare that to the you know, typical Western diet, uh, carbohydrates, fatty processed foods. Okay, so I'm gonna put some banana. I'm gonna put a big handful of spinach, all right? Really good for you, filled with chlorophyll. I like to pack that up. You can put some kale in here as well, anything you like. And I'm gonna put some beautiful, beautiful basil in here, okay? So basil actually originated in India um, over 5,000 years ago. Um, used as a spice and as a medicine, uh, there's actually over 160 different varieties of basil that range in uh, color and taste. Okay, really good for you. It's high in vitamin C, uh, B6, A, and magnesium, all right, which I love. So I'm gonna put a good handful of basil in and some beautiful passion fruit, okay? I absolutely love passion fruit when it's in season. Let's get a little spoon. We'll scoop that out. Gonna give it a nice, uh, unique flavor, the passion fruit. Um, so delicious, and once again, so good for your passion fruit. You now, high in vitamins uh, A, C. Uh, one serving of passion fruit um, is basically your daily intake of vitamin C, your requirement, all right? So, really, really good for your passion fruit. Let's get that in there. And that's about it. So, about two passion fruits. I'm gonna put some ice in there to keep it cool. Good portion of ice. All right, I'm gonna lock my lid into place. That looks pretty good. Lock that into place. 
I'm going to start it on speed one, work it up to 10, I'm going to let it run for about one minute. Away we go. That's it, we're done. It was that quick and simple. Probably let that run for about 45 seconds to a minute. We'll take that lid off there. Mm. And smell that beautiful aroma of the basil and passion fruit. Um, I think it's gonna taste absolutely delicious. So really nice green smoothie recipe um, to try here. I think the kids will really enjoy it too. So, so good, that basil, passion fruit, the melon, the coconut, all work so well together. Try this uh, tropical basil blast at home. Happy blending. Coming into allergy season again, and I personally uh, do suffer from allergies, and I've found this recipe um, to be a really good natural decongestant. It really uh, works well for me.